From diverse sceneries to towering mountain peaks, South Island has everything. This part of New Zealand continues to welcome tourists every year who marvel at the absolute serenity and take part in dozens of exciting activities. With so much to see and do, you need to narrow it down to the places that must be on your list to give you full South Island experience. Not to worry, we have put together some of the top places to visit in the South Island. Let's get right to it. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything we post. Godly Head, Christchurch. Instead of getting into your rental car at the airport and heading straight north or towards Lake Takapo, you should check out Christchurch. Most travelers miss out on how much this place has to offer. If you spent as much as a week here, it wouldn't be enough to soak in the beautiful scenery. There's also a lot of stunning hiking trails, especially at Godly Head, where you can explore what nature has to offer. Over at Godly Head, you can relax as you watch the coast and then head over to the French town of Akarora. The first thing you would notice about this town is its relaxing atmosphere. Since it's about an hour away from Christchurch, you'll find that it's worth checking out, especially when you take a scenic drive through the mountains. Up next is Milford Sound. When you talk about places in the South Island that make you stare in awe, your list isn't complete without mentioning Milford Sound. This place is everything you need to see and more. A truly spectacular spot. With thousands of people visiting every year, we're sure that they would waste no time in recommending it to others. One of the first things you notice about Milford Sound is the waterfalls that pour down the towering mountains, providing a beautiful contrast. To crown it all, you have dozens of penguins and seals swimming and hanging out on the rocks as they bask in the warm glow of the sun. It's like the scene straight out of your wildest fantasy. One way to experience this area is to take a kayak that lets you get close enough to admire the wildlife and natural beauty of this spot. Don't forget to take your raincoat along, as the weather could change really quickly into cloudy with a dash of rain. The rains of Milford Sound have gained quite a reputation and you could have drenched clothing from getting really close to the waterfall. The drive to Milford Sound from Tiano or Queenstown is definitely not a quick one. While it is meant to be a maximum of three hours, in theory, this is not the case when you actually get behind the wheel. Because the route involves passing through a lot of mountains, the drive takes twice as long to complete. Of course, you would want to take some pictures along the way. You won't be able to resist the feeling as you stare at the natural landscape. This is not a place to experience a hurry. However, it's all worth it when you get to your destination. If you like, you can spend some time at available campgrounds and you should be ready to battle a bit with the sand flies. On the plus side, a good bug spray should take care of those mosquitoes on steroids. Thinking of taking a hike? The Milford Sound Great Walk is just what you need. Book well in advance, even as early as a year. If you want to take part in this, you'll absolutely love it. Up next is Queenstown. What site could be more beautiful than the sharp mountain peaks covered perfectly in snow? This may be the picture that welcomes you as soon as you step into Queenstown in the South Island of New Zealand. To be honest, all you would be faced with is breathtaking excitement as you soak in the beauty of this absolute paradise snuggled between mountains. Many people consider this a must-see location in the South Island, and it's not hard to see why. Known as the adventure capital of New Zealand, there can never be a shortage of activity to engage in as a thrill-seeker in the city. This is where you can whip out your adventurous spirit and explore your love for paddle boating, snowboarding, skiing, bungee jumping, and hiking. You can even try out the jet boats and have more than enough to talk about at the end of this trip. Being an expensive little town, it's best you go prepared with a very fat wallet. The beautiful thing about Queenstown is that you could spend a month here without getting bored. Here you would find Lake Wakatipu, the longest lake in New Zealand. Queenstown is perfect for those who love to spend a lot of time indoors and those who have a love of the outdoors. It caters to everyone. For the adrenaline junkies, there is no shortage of outdoor activities. The weekend market is there for those who love shopping, and you could try out different cuisine at the busy town center. This place is packed with shops, cafes, and restaurants that will give you a different meal for each day of your visit. If you will be visiting in December or January, it is best to book your accommodation in advance as it could get really crowded. For those who love nature and don't want to spend a lot of money, you can take different scenic heights with varying levels of difficulty. The famous Tiki Trail will take you from the Queenstown city center to the top of the gondola. You can take this affordable gondola up to the restaurant at the top. This trail would take about an hour to hike through, as some parts are quite steep. It's best to avoid the trail on rainy days. For a more scenic hike, you can try out Queenstown Hill, which has less foot traffic and gives you one of the best panoramic views of the city. During this three-hour hike, you can really soak in everything about
about nature with the clean air moving through your lungs. Here, it's just you without any interference from cafes, shops, or other tourists. Queenstown Gardens is available for those who want a gentle walk through a nice park. If you want to see more of this city, you can take an hour drive to another mountain paradise, this time by the name Wanaka. This area is like an extension of Queenstown, given how close they are to each other. You can get to Wanaka by passing through the famous Crown Range, a drive that is an experience on its own. Trust us when we say that nothing prepares you for the sights. You would think you know what to expect, but the views beat your expectations flat. The beautiful Lake Wanaka reflects the mountaintops as it stretches into the distance. Unsurprisingly, water sports are popular in Wanaka as you can enjoy the beautiful views while playing around in the water. Renting equipment to indulge in this activity is a breeze. You could also catch some mountain biking action, but be sure to have all protective gear in place. Your experiences at Wanaka will make for an interesting story you can tell your loved ones over and over again. It's also a great idea to take a hike down Roy's Peak and visit the famous Wanaka tree. We could talk about these places all day, but you won't know how truly amazing it is until you have spent at least a weekend at the this part of South Island. Up next is Franz Josef. Located at the base of the famous Franz Josef Glacier is the small town that goes by the same name. All around the town are towering mountains, while it is also a partial rainforest. This town might be small, but the scenery makes it seem like a massive paradise. You can take several hikes around the glacier, which is visible from the middle of town. Glaciers have always been one of nature's gifts. That is a source of great wonder. Every year, millions of people visit different glaciers around the world. If you're not big on crowds, then the glacier in this small town is just right for you. If you want to view the magnificent blue color of the glacier closely, a helicopter tour would be perfect. It would take you to the top of the glacier where you would walk carefully through icy canals. The downside to this is that taking a helicopter tour could be really expensive. However, if you're willing to overlook the price, it's an experience worth having. Up next is Teana. When you hear the phrase, the gateway to the fjords, there is only one place that owns this name. That is Teanu. Located in the Southland region of South Island, this place is much more than a gateway, but an entrance into a mini paradise. You could spend a week at Teana and still wish you had more time as there is so much to do. Just like Milford Sound, this town has great hiking trails that give amazing views. Here, you can even check out the Glowworms Caves and go fishing in one of the many fantastic spots. You can spend a while here before going over to other parts of South Island. Ever heard about the Kepler Track? Well, its home is in Teana. This great walk is everything you would ever want on a hiking trail. Since it does get rainy a lot in this region, don't forget to take a rain jacket along. Up next is Punakaiki. This is where you would find some of the coolest blowholes and rocks on South Island. The town of Punaniki is known for its pancake rocks, which are magnificent blowholes and limestone formations that radiate during high tides. Their origin can be traced to about 30 million years ago when rocks that were about 2 kilometers underwater became raised through seismic activity. They were then formed from dead plants and marine creatures. The interesting thing about the pancake rocks is that they come in a lot of odd yet interesting shapes. This is thanks to the action of seawater, rain, and wind over the years. If you were to describe the blowholes in two words, we bet the words that would come to your mind would be extremely powerful and intense. So put Punakaiki on your list of places to visit in the South Island of New Zealand as it is a must-see attraction and one of the coolest places in the country. And there you have it. These are the top places to visit in the South Island. Which one is your favorite on this list? And which ones do you think should have made our list? Let me know in the comments. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.